Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We got a little bit of VeChain news, slow news day, except for the SEC trying to destroy crypto, which we'll discuss further in tonight's stream. VeChain has added another partnership that will actually use VeChain and Vetho. Once again, I actually don't think utility for a lot of these coins is going to determine price, but it's really going to be DeFi, NFTs, and other developments on chain. Maybe the mass adoption will hit, and I'll be proven wrong, but I don't think that's going to happen with VeChain or any other coin anytime soon. But they did partner with Atwood, which is the largest high-end liquor distributor, but in Cambodia. Now, I don't really know how many people are in Cambodia are trying high-end liquor. High-end liquor is something that could actually use VeChain's authentication. And they are going to be using VeChain and Vetho to authenticate their products. But once again, there's fat cats in every country, but I'm not really sure how much use this is going to generate because I don't know how many rich people are going to be drinking fine wine in Cambodia. But like I said, there's fat cats in every country, so they will see some use. And they want to actually develop the Southeast Asian market. Like premium products is a niche that could really take advantage of VeChain's technology to authenticate their products from counterfeits. And we know how much high-end liquor and wine can cost. We're talking hundreds or thousands of dollars a bottle. How big is Cambodia? Not that big. Um, the population is an estimate 17.3 million, but hopefully they can actually get into Southeast Asia as well. So Atwood is currently the largest premium alcoholic beverage distributor in Cambodia, which covers 24 provinces with 12 sales offices. Eurocham Cambodia is pleased to welcome Atwood import uh, export co Ltd under CCL coverage as a new member this year. So they're actually using VeChain to actually start tracking their products. You should see a couple of transactions on chain, but once again, like you know, these are just small buildups to use case, and it's going to take a very long time because of the hundred to one Vetho ratio thing they did. Uh, about a year and a half ago because Vetho was getting very, very expensive. People were speculating on it, so they decreased the amount of Vetho needed per transaction. I know some of you don't like that, but VeChain was actually built to be used enterprise-wise without that many fees. And since fees were actually going up in Vetho, they had a community vote, and the community actually did vote to decrease the fees for further blockchain growth. So they are attracting new partners. But once again, like I have a feeling that VeChain, like a lot of other projects, are basically holding back on their massive, massive partnerships until the market turns. So it'll actually help the price of the coin more because announcing one now probably would not affect the price of the coin. But they're letting these small partnerships out there, maybe keeping some people interested, hopefully. And uh, hopefully they're developing their ecosystem as well because I do think the games on these blockchains, the DeFi and the NFTs on these blockchains are going to determine the price pump rather than these smaller partnerships or even bigger partnerships. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.